Two gay pulse survivors have now launched conversion therapy group. Unlike Fox News, you just can't make this stuff up. Two pulse massacre survivors, Luis Ruiz and Agel Colon, now identify as ex-gays and have started a conversion therapy organization, Fearless Identity. They aim to help LGBTQ plus individuals and the parents of queer children in, quote, seeking the option to change, end quote. The two founders shared their journeys in a recent blog post for Liberty Council and are apparently receiving praise for, quote, leaving the homosexual lifestyle, end quote. Every major health organization in the world has said conversion therapy fails and is dangerous. It, you know, it amazes me, especially two people who went through, that are survivors of the mm -hmm. Pulse Massacre, that they can't make the connection between conversion therapy and acts like this. Yeah. Mm. And... It, I, you know, there have been a number of ex-gays who, lo and behold, how many years later, yeah. you know, you, you're either yep. a homosexual yep. or you're not. But, but you're we either see straight this, or you're not. We've seen this story a million times. Of course we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, when gay people first kind of come out, something happens that's, that's traumatic and you go right backwards. I think probably a lot of the people watching this news have been in a situation like that where you kind of put your foot out the door a little bit, something happened and it slammed and you didn't come back out for another few years. We're just seeing a very, very big version of that yeah. with, with these mm -hmm. guys. Look, there's, there's nothing funny about this, right? Um, to survive something like that, you must go through so much trauma, right? And um, unfortunately, this screams to me that these two gentlemen have not worked through their trauma. That's mm -hmm. what they need to go and talk <clears throat> to somebody, you know? Um, or maybe they're just trying to infiltrate and they're going undercover. You well, know that, what I mean? That like, that good. is what I'm really hoping for because it's just like, like Cindy said, you know? I mean, you are or you're not, and they know in their heart of hearts. You know? They're going to be mean, harming so many people. This is clearly a trauma response, and I want to, yeah. I want to, at this point in time, right now, today, I'm going to give them a smidgen of grace because this could be a response to their trauma. I think um, we should not give them any room to budge. Um, we should give a little bit of pushback, but we're not going to dive in with the names and being overly critical to where we're bashing them. We need to provide love. They need to understand that the queer community is the safe space. They obviously found um, safety and spirituality in the Lord, and that's not a bad thing. That can be a good thing, yeah. but spirituality also thrives in the queer community, and maybe they don't realize that. So this is clearly a response to their trauma, and we need to be ready to receive them back to us with open arms when they're ready. We're here. We are here. And look, we know that conversion therapy doesn't work. And people that do conversion therapy know that conversion therapy doesn't work. <laughs> That's why when there was a bill earlier earlier this year to try to to try to try require insurance coverage for trans conversion therapy, they were like, oh, it's not conversion therapy. It's just therapy to make you not trans if you don't want to be trans. Girl, what do you think? What? <laughs> exactly. Which luckily, once again, did not pass. But it's ridiculous, right? We know that this does not work. We know that it's more, that it's harmful to anybody who is, is uh, sh struggling with struggling with their sexual orientation or coming to terms with their own sexual orientation or gender identity, know that you are beautiful and gorgeous and yeah. glorious and mm -hmm. powerful just the way you are, that you do not need therapy to change you, to make you fit into somebody else's mold. Baby, it's your life. Yeah, right. you need therapy for other reasons, but not for <laughs>